For today, I wanted to give you guys a comparison between Athena and Scarlet Witch because it is the no restriction day for ABX, as you can see right here. And tomorrow is going to be the Universal Superhero Day where we're using Scarlet Witch, Ghost Panther, and Richard Rider Nova. So what I wanted to do today is actually jump in here and show you how these two females compare to each other because I honestly believe that Athena is going to be replacing Scarlet Witch if you have enough physical attack on your cards. Now, for my cards, I have a massive imbalance of energy attack and physical attack. If you take a look, for example, my overall all attack is 91%, but then I have 31% additional physical attack and then 60% energy attack. So I have over 30% more energy attack than physical attack. And then if you look at the activated effects, I have an additional 20% energy attack there. So realistically, you could say I have an additional 50% energy attack on my cards over my physical attack. And what I'm noticing here is that Athena is keeping up with my Scarlet Witch, and that is pretty insane. That means if your cards are balanced, you have as much physical attack as you do energy attack, you're going to notice that Athena performs better. Now, my Athena, this is what she's looking like. She's rocking 12 Odin's Blessings with two physical attack um, Urus, Mythic Urus on every single slot. She's rocking with a CTP of Rage, Mythic Uniform, and then she has her artifact at four stars. And then we have a fully awakened power of Angry Hulk for Scarlet Witch. CTP of Rage. No artifact because she doesn't have one. Fully awakened overdrive. And then this is what her Urus slash Odin's Blessings look like. You can see it's uh, almost the same amount of Odin's Blessings. We're just missing one. Yeah, just one on this one. And then we would have 12 but Scarlet Witch has a massive advantage going into this comparison. And I'm realistically thinking about shuffling around my cards and re-rolling this Luna card to change this blue star at the end here to all attack so I can get some more physical attack. And then I'm thinking about re-rolling this one as well to all attack. But that's very expensive to do, right? But looking at the imbalance between my Scarlet Witch and my Dina, it's telling me that if everything were balanced, that Thena would come out on top. So if you're an ABX meta type of guy, yeah, Thena might be it if your cards are balanced. Okay, for me though, and for majority of the players, uh, there's an imbalance for energy-based characters because for the longest time, the energy characters have dominated the game. But long story short, let's jump in today and see how these two characters compare on my account with a massive disparity between my physical and my energy attack. All right, first up is Scarlet Witch. Let's see how she does. One thing I like more about playing Scarlet Witch is it's easier to get rid of the minions. You don't even have to try. There's so many residual hits and they track down the mobs for you. And also Scarlet doesn't spend a lot of time in iframes. So the mobs will come to you. Versus with Dina. She spends a lot of time in iframes, which the iframes are good for World Boss Legend and stuff, but for for um, ABX, it's kind of an issue because the robots don't move. They don't come to you when you're chilling in the iframe. So he's going to jump. Easy cancel there. He does the swing. Hey, butter, butter, hey, butter, hey, butter, hey, butter, swing. Easy cancel there. OK. 
Okay. Sorry for the uh, lack of entertaining commentary, but when it comes to ABX, you kind of have to like really like get in a zone if you want to like get a good score, right? And obviously, since this is a comparison, I want to give you guys the best the best comparison, right? Now, because I don't want to waste gold, I'll stop it just before um, the fight actually ends. So, right about here. You can see, with 3 seconds left, we're at 9.65. Let's jump in with Dina now, so you guys can see how she does with the exact same team. I meant to hit exit, not restart. 9.65, let's see if she can actually get us there. Let's go. Alright, so we delayed the roar a lot. No, but would have liked to delay it a little bit more. Yeah, those mobs at the top of the map, seeing them just stand still and not dying is annoying. Because with Scarlet Witch, you can easily just kill them without doing anything. Come on. Yep, there you go. There's the proc. Let's go back to the center. Because... Ah... Uh. Yeah, even not killing the mobs as quickly as Scarlet Witch, she's still gonna get a similar score. Better, actually. Wow. Yeah, so... Yeah! My Scarlet Witch has almost, I would say, what, 50% more energy attack? And I'm getting 9.7. And I don't think this is the best run, right? I was just doing a quick and dirty here so you can see the difference between the two characters. Because I know most of y'all don't really care about ABX like that. But looking at the builds for the characters and then looking at the, um, the cards that I have. The fact that I have way more, way more energy attack than physical attack. And I'm still able to score more with Dina. Tells me that if your cards are balanced, Dina is going to be better. Or at least that's what I'm seeing. So guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Till next time, be safe. And I'll catch you guys. Peace.